For the newborn child, parents deposit $10,000 in a college, of, college account that pays 8% interest, compounded annually. How much will be in the account on the child's 17th um, birthday? So, the formula for compound interest is that the um, amount is equal to the principal times 1 plus r over n to the nt power so let's um make our parameter list p is equal to um, 10,000 so r is equal to the interest rate per year which is 8% or in decimal it's 0 0.08 T is equal to 17 and N is equal to the number of compounding which is annually so it is 1 so we plug in our numbers into the equation so we have 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.08 over 1 times nt so let's multiply 17 times 1 is 17 so this is equal to okay let's um punch it in 0 0.8 divide 1 and then plus 1 and then exponent um 17 And then multiply it by 10,000. So let's do it again. So 0 0.08 plus 1. So this is equal to 10,000 times 1.08 to the 17th power. So is calculator so 2 to the 2 is equal to 4 so 1.08 to the power 17 it's equal to 3 point so this is equal to 10,000 times 3.7 um, 0, 0, 3.7 so times 10,000 so this is equal to 37,000 um, point um, 18 dollars so this is the total amount they will get after 17 years so if the parents in part A, so this is part A, if the parents in part A invested $10,000 in an account paying 8% compounded quarterly, how much more money would they have after 17 years? So we use um, the same equation, A is equal to P 1 plus R over N to the NT power. So P is the same, 10,000, R is the same, 0 0.8, and T is the same, 17 years, and N, it's quarterly, so that means um, four times a year. So we plug in our numbers, so A is equal to 10,000, 1 plus 0 0.08 over 4, times nt 17 times 4 so nt is equal to so 17 times 4 68 so this is 68 power so this is equal to 10,000 times so 0 0.08 divide 4 plus 1 so this is 1.02 to the 68 power so this calculator power is this so it's 
power 68. So this is equal to 10,000 times 3.84425. So we multiply this by 10,000. So they will get $38,000. Four hundred forty-two dollars point fifty-one cents. So this is um, if they put um, in an account paying um, eight percent compounded quarterly. So here compounded um, annually. So they get thirty-seven thousand point eighteen cents. And if they put it in a qu compounded quarterly, they will get 38442 So how much money they would, um, um, more money they would have. So it's 38000 minus 17000 So 38442.51 minus 37018 so they will get um, 1,000, so 1,442.33 dollars more if the parents invested um, in an account paying 8% compounded quarterly. So this is the amount that they will get more if they um, put it in an account paying 8% compounded quarterly.